In this video series, a geometrical structure, which is called the zeptoform, is used as a map of universal archetypes in order to explore the relationship between reality and personality. This is the three dimensional structure of the zeptoform. The word, zepto, comes from the word, septem, or hepta. The former is Latin, and the latter is Greek. Septem, or hepta, means, seven, and, it is related to September. September, was originally the seventh month, but it was changed to the ninth month. Likewise, the zeptoform has seven basic points, but two additional points, point three and point six, emerge, periodically, to make nine points. The meaning of this emergence, will be discussed in this video series. The zeptoform has nine points. But, when you look at this structure from the front, top, and side, two points are superposed, and thus you can see only seven points. For example, when you look at this structure from the front, points one and nine would be superposed by points three and six. As already discussed, the word, zepto, indicates seven. Also, it is a unit prefix in the metric system. That is one thousand to the power of negative seven. For example, one zeptosecond is a trillionth of a billionth of a second. A zeptosecond is the smallest division of time yet observed by physicists. Zeptometer and zeptogram will be discussed later in this video series. The zeptoform can be seen as the essential component of Metatron's cube. The name, Metatron, refers to Archangel Metatron. According to the Kabbalah, the Jewish tradition of esoteric interpretation of the Bible, Metatron is the highest ranked archangel, having more power than Archangel Michael. Metatron's cube contains five platonic solids. These are called tetrahedron, hexahedron, octahedron, dodecahedron, and icosahedron. Also, the Star of David is contained in Metatron's cube. As already discussed, the zeptoform can be seen as the essential component of Metatron's cube. According to Plato's theory of ideas, the five platonic solids are considered to be universal archetypes. The theory of ideas is also related to the nine holy ideas of the Enneagram theory. This is the structure of the Enneagram. As we will see in this video series, the nine points of the Enneagram correspond to the nine points of the Zeptoform. These nine points represent the nine enlightened perspectives, and they are called holy ideas. Having said that, the word idea in holy ideas comes from Plato's theory of ideas. That is, the nine holy ideas of the Enneagram theory are also considered to be universal archetypes. Oscar E. Chasso is the originator or discoverer of the concept of holy ideas of the Enneagram theory. He claims to have received some spiritual messages from Metatron. Plato's theory of ideas is also called the theory of forms. Having said that, the word form in zeptoform comes from this terminology. The knowledge of holy ideas was passed on to A. H. Almas. In part based on this knowledge, he has created a spiritual method, called the Diamond Approach. In this video series, we will focus on his method. The Table of Contents This video series, is composed of 9 modules. In Module 1 and Module 2, the holy ideas of the Enneagram theory are integrated into the Zeptoform. In this process, these holy ideas are integrated into one unified geometrical structure, as well as one unified perspective. In order to integrate all holy ideas, we can use the algorithmic processes of the Enneagram theory. These algorithmic processes are also used in the following modules. For example, in Module 3, they are used to describe the creation process of the universe. In Module 4, they are used to compose music. In Module 7, they are used to predict the developmental process of humans, as well as society. Now, we will briefly discuss the algorithmic processes of the Enneagram theory. When 1 is divided by 7, we get 0 0.142857, and it repeats. This recurring decimal, 142857, represents disintegration processes. Then, why do we have to divide 1 by 7? The reason will be discussed in Module 1. By reversing these disintegration processes, integration processes emerge. In addition to these processes, this figure also represents integration processes. Furthermore, we discuss additional integration processes. 
These additional processes are not included in the traditional Enneagram theory. The algorithm of these additional processes will be discussed in Module 1 and Module 2. In Module 3, we discussed, the isomorphism between personality types and elementary particles. Isomorphism, is a similarity of form. It is a one-to-one correspondence between the elements of two or more groups. The Zepto form, is used to see, various kinds of isomorphism in the universe, and it enables us to apply the knowledge of one field to many other fields. For example, by finding the isomorphism between elementary particles and personality types, we will be able to use the knowledge of particle physics, for analyzing personality types, and vice versa. In this way, we can build bridges, between many different fields. In Module 4, we discussed, the isomorphism between elementary particles, personality types, and musical notes. That is the integration of particle physics, personality type theory, and music theory. Consequently, we will be able to use the knowledge of any of these fields, to analyze the other fields. For example, by finding the isomorphism between personality types and musical notes, we will be able to use the knowledge of music theory, in order to analyze personality types, and vice versa. Also, the algorithmic processes of the Enneagram theory, can be used to compose music. That is recorded in this module. According to the law of seven of the Enneagram theory, seven points among the nine points are related to the seven notes of a musical scale. These seven points correspond to the seven basic points of the zeptoform. The interval between B and F, is called the tritone, which creates an unstable sound. In order to resolve this dissonance, B needs to be moved to C, and F needs to be moved to E. Related to this phenomenon, the process from type 5 to type 8, and from type 4 to type 1, are integration processes. On the other hand, when, B moves to A, and F moves to G, an unpleasant sound is created. Related to this phenomenon, the process from type 5 to type 7, and from type 4 to type 2, are disintegration processes. As we can see, there are algorithmic correspondences between the law of music, and that of personality. With that said, we discussed, only a small portion of the whole algorithmic correspondences. We will see, a lot more, in Module 4. These algorithmic processes of the Enneagram theory, are integrated into that of the Zeptoform theory. Then, these processes are used to create the Zeptoform music. Now, we will briefly listen to it. This is one type of the Zeptoform music. In Module 5, Jungian typology and the Enneagram theory are integrated into the Zeptoform. Through this integration, we will be able to see, how, each Enneotype, tends to use, his or her cognitive functions. In Module 6, the structure of a brain, is integrated into the Zeptoform. Through this integration, we introduced, a new way of seeing gender categorization. In Module 7 and Module 8, we discussed, Zeptoform Integral. That is the integration of the Zeptoform theory and Integral Theory. Ken Wilber, is the originator of Integral Theory. Integral, means, comprehensive, inclusive, whole, and balanced. 
The comprehensive map of integral theory uses five elements in order to integrate everything. These elements are quadrants, types, levels, lines, and states, and they are all geometrically integrated into the Zepto form. In module 9, we discussed Zeptoformic Kabbalah. That is the integration of the Zepto form and the tree of life. The tree of life is composed of 10 circles and one unseen circle. The unseen circle is drawn as a dashed line. Each circle, or sphere, represents a different quality of God, and it is protected by a different archangel. For example, the topmost sphere, which is called Keter, represents a diamond and a regal crown, and it is protected by Archangel Metatron. As discussed in the introduction, according to Kabbalah, the Jewish tradition of esoteric interpretation of the Bible, Metatron is the highest-ranked archangel. Then, the integration of all archangels, is called, Zeptron. Thank you for watching my videos.